Hello, good evil and in between. At the E3, we heard more about the Xbox One and the PS4, and what they're going to be like, and how great they are, and what brilliant pieces of tech they are, and, oh, and they happen to play games. If you're interested, they happen to play games, gamers. You know, we've been usefully, uh, used to these consoles being totally game-focused for years, for decades. Some of us have been playing them since we were little kids. Some of you still are little kids. And they've always been game centric, you know, game central, that is it. Uh, you want to buy a game, that's it, the console, there, it'll do everything for you. And all the other extra little bits that gradually evolve, you know, like TV and YouTube and that. They've been like added bonuses. And now, they seem like they're just designed as social network machines. That, you know, you can stay connected to everybody. The whole world, you can stay online and the whole world will keep butting in while you play. You'll be told that your program's starting or somebody liking that you're playing that game and all that. Liking, poking, fucking jumping up and down. It seems it's getting all messed up now that gaming is sort of like a sideline. This box is great, but do you want to be gaming on it anymore? Uh, are you playing games a little bit too much? Do you want to watch some TV? Do you want to watch some sport? Hey look, uh, such and such has bought this through this site. and You'll get a little message come through while you're playing you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and all that. We don't really want all that. As gaming goes, we just want to play the games. We're not worried about all that other stuff. We might use it when we get used to it as we go along, but we don't really want that. So anybody that's threatened about, oh, it's it's coming out in November, I think was the PS4, I think that's right, the Xbox soon after that, probably around Christmas time, who knows. If you want a proper gaming machine, now there's a thought here, this might shock you, why don't you buy a Wii U? Yes, a Wii U, a Nintendo Wii U, have you forgotten that Nintendo still make consoles? I've had a little go on this, the Wii U that is, and it is totally focused on games. Everything else about it is, is like a little add-on bonus. They don't really misdirect you to say, oh look, would you rather turn the game off and watch a video through Netflix or some other stupid application that seems to be on every console now, lovefilm.com and all that crap. They actually, when you turn it on, what I've seen, it's little icons for gaming and that, and right, they have this little hub of like me verse and all that, but it's basically other people with little messages and info and drawings and pictures about games they're playing. Everything is game focused. I'm not worried about that other shit. They'll add it, and like in Japan, I think there's an animation channel and that you can watch now, and I think in America they've got a TV channel thing or something, some TV app. But it's all about gaming. Everything about that machine is centered on gaming. They're not advertising the fact that you're going to be switched on online 24 hours a day playing this, playing that, talking to everybody, watching this through it and all that. It's always about the games. And that 6 inch pad, control pad thing, it's focused, it's integrated with the games. It's not worried that you could use it as a TV remote, which you can, but they're not overemphasizing. Use this as part of your TV viewing pleasure and all that crap. All these stupid apps they keep creating for these consoles now. The Wii U. It's just bothered about gaming. Is that such a bad thing? It's almost like a dirty word now. So, right on Nintendo, right on. You are actually focused on the gaming market, other than like Sony and PS, PS4 and uh, Xbox One. They're, they're like these hulking multimedia devices now that want to take over your entire world. They want to replace your laptop, your smartphone. They want to compete with that market. Whereas Nintendo and the Wii U have said, we're a games machine. Come and play our game. So that's that's my advice. Stop threatening of you. Uh, you're not going to get an Xbox One, so you're going to get a PS4. Why? I mean, the Wii U. It's got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. How successful is that game? It's even on the Wii U. They're going to have Watch Dogs game. That new game, that sort of like hacking game, and you can sort of like suss out the whole world. They're going to have that. Assassin's Creed 4. That's coming on, on the Wii U. They've got Project 101. Uh, I don't know if you know that, but that looks a pretty cool game. Pikmin 3, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Brothers. There's going to be probably another Mario Brothers game of some sort, I'm sure. Plenty going on. They've even got Mass Effect 3 on it, for God's sake. And they've got a Batman game as well, that's on it. Alright, they're a few years old and stuff like that, but they're coming on it. It's going to be sunk, I know, by people like EA and all that are going to refuse to put, them, put their games on the platform. That's their hard luck. If everyone starts buying a Wii U... You see all these developers and publishers flooding back to the Wii U. I mean, even Bayonetta 2 from Sega, that's coming on as an exclusive on the Wii U. 
this machine ain't that bad. And the amount of that free advertising I've given Nintendo, they should be bloody paying me. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later, so see you later.